man. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. Jeez, I need this cup of coffee more than you realize. Sugar in there? That's extra sugar. That's right. Extra sugar for me. Let's see if I can get this thing brought up on my little. We got we got a menagerie going today, kids. Look at all this. Got the old iPad out. Do the monitoring on the stream. The recipe up. Hopefully I can see the comments on that little tiny screen. Okay, coffee, what do I need, half and half? <clears throat> so what are we doing today? Oh man, we're making donuts from scratch and we're gonna bake them, because I got some. Hold on to your horses, you may have already seen it. Donut baking pans, that's right. When you get donut baking pans, you know what you do? <clears throat> you bake some donuts. Immediately. So I've had these donut pans for a day. After one day of sitting around, wearing out. Give me one second here. All right. So I've never made donuts from scratch, baked or oil boiled, whatever you want to call that, fried. First thing I need to do, I know, is I need softened butter, which I don't have. So let's uh, let's try to pre-soften some of this butter. I need, I need four of these tablespoons. So let's make a little indicator mark so where we're going. It's about half a stick, I believe. Is that what it says? Quarter cup? Quarter cup's four? Yep. So what I'm going to do to accelerate the softening of my unsoftened butter is... Uh, and yeah, I'm cutting on my counter. Don't do that at home, kids. Only for professionals. I'm not going all the way, all the way down. Just part way down. I'm gonna like, uh, I'm aerating this. Like I'm getting, I'm letting the, the less than refrigerator temperature air get to some more spots in this little, little butter. Uh... Yeah, well, it's not working very good at all. All right. <laughs> Good times. All right. Let's see what we need to do here. Preheat the oven. Well, we're using a toaster oven, so we're not going to preheat that at all for now. In my mixer, we're not going to use the mixer. We're going to use a glass bowl because I think that'd be more fun. And also because, I don't know if you could tell, I don't know where I'd put a mixer right now because that's full. So I got a hand mixer. We're, we're going to try the dough whisk, the Danish dough whisk. And see what happens. If that doesn't work, we're going to try something different. So let's uh let's see if we can get oops, am I let's see if we can get these little tiny almost softened butter chunks to just mellow out in this bowl for a little bit here. Cause they're one of the first things that go in. I'm hoping that like they'll uh they'll chill out. When I say chill out, I mean warm up. Oh man, like, so that just happened. Okay, break up into your little pieces, friends. Get in your spot, get in your little pieces. This is not how you're supposed to do this. Like if you're watching this and you think this is an instructional video, this is not an instructional video. This is, this is 9.30 on a Sunday when I'm still want to be sleeping. And I decided I'm gonna make a live video of me making donuts, so bear with me. I'm sure being perfect is something that you've gotten used to, but I'm still trying to achieve perfection here. So, all right, that's half a stick. We're just gonna go ahead and put that back in the old refrigerator. I don't need any more softened butter, I don't think. I don't feel like I got those chunks cut up small enough to like start softening in the air. Air softened. And I'm sure there's probably better techniques for whatever I'm trying to accomplish here, which is 
questionable at best. Okay, let's get all that out there. You paid for it, you might as well use it. All right, I got more coffee in me immediately. What do we got, we anybody watching? Yeah, I got a couple people watching. Welcome to the stream, I'm making donuts. Check it out. Scored some donut pans. I actually got 10 of these things. <laughs> Can you believe that? 10 of them, I'm gonna use two. I'm pretty sure, I should probably check this before I make a complete ass of myself. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit in here. Oh yeah, dude. That's a donut bacon machine is what that is. <laughs> All right. That's happening. Okay. Preheat, all right. In my mixer, beat oil, butter, and sugar, and add eggs. Okay, so the butter, the oil's next. Let's do the oil next. What was the oil recipe saying I was supposed to have? A quarter cup of vegetable oil. We're going to put it right in there. As soon as I get my quarter cups out. We got all this stuff out. Let's, uh, let's, let's make some more room here. That's right, kids. I got stainless steel. I got, I got plastic, too. All right, that's a quarter cup. Now, call me crazy, but that seems like a whole hell of a lot of oil. Oh, wait, they're donuts. That's why. <laughs> that's not a, we're not making a salad. We're making donuts. Oh, man, I feel like... I feel like my butter may not be softened enough yet. Uh, we should go sugar yet. We could maybe the sugar will abrade the create friction. You know what I mean? Put some sugar there, make friction, and that butter will will soften from the from the friction. So that's a half cup of sugar. Oh god! What's in here? Quarter cup. Don't you love it when you find your your measuring cup that you've been looking for in the wrong spot? Now, there, there may be some sh uh, coffee in here, but we're just going to go for it. Sometimes I dip my coffee spoon in there. I know that's a crime. Crimes! All right, we're going to use the friction of the sugar to try to break some of this butter up. Now, is that a technique, a certified uh, Martha Stewart technique? <sighs> Martha would have her butter softened. So, like, <laughs> yeah, this is kind of... I'm not saying we're starting off as a disaster, but this is pretty close to not quite exactly how it's supposed to go. I think I might go power mixer. Can you power mix in a glass bowl? I don't even know. Let me grab my power mixer real quick. Watch out, Pooch. You're going to get whacked with the door. Or gently nudged with the door. I should say I'm going to whack you. Where, where the hell is it? Oh, there it is. Grab a couple uh, beaters real quick. That's not a beater. That's a dope. What is happening? Ah! All right. I'm going to give this guy a try. Last night before I went to bed, I said to myself, don't forget to get that butter out. That needs to be softened for those donuts you're making. And what did I do? What was the first thing I did after I thought that? I didn't do it. I thought to myself, well, I'll do that later. <laughs> well, later's right now. Welcome to later. So yeah, this is the uh, the Von Chef. Chef? I don't know if they spelled chef right. I guess. Someone almost had a patent on the word chef and they couldn't. All right, what's happening here? Get in your, there we go. It's got, this has got turbo button, dude. It's got a turbo. Hear that? Turbo, turbo. Now, I don't know if you know anything about that. That is like, that is low. Good luck on the power mixer, bud. This thing? I think it's gonna work just fine. I think it's gonna work wrong. I mean, I've, I thought about using my my stand mixer, but like I said, it takes a lot of room and like. You think it's just gonna shoot sugar everywhere? I kind of think it is. Oh god. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for shit. God damn it! I'm screwing this up. All right. That's way too many RPMs. For you, those of you not in the know, that's rounds per minute. I gotta soften this butter. What, what do I got? What do I got for, oh, you know what I got? Hold on. We're going old school. Look at this thing. The dough blender, uh, patented with a number so small that it came, may have came over on the Mayflower. Let's try this thing. Oh yeah, that's gonna chop that butter up. That's the dough blender. That's a. That's a that's a dough blender right there. Am I blocking my with my arm? Let's get let's get this so you can see what I'm doing. 
I'm making I'm making something out of I don't know what I don't know what I'm doing here. Lemons and lemonade. I'm trying to think of a cliche. Whoa, that slipped. I'm trying to think of a good cliche to describe how this is working. It's definitely making it smaller. I don't know if it's definitely making it uh, what I would call softened. I'm, I'm going with that, that that sugar friction. Eventually, here is going. Like, what is happening? There's too many mixers in the bowl. Let's put this one in here too. There. Got all the mixers in the bowl now. <laughs> I mean, come on now. What is happening? Stupid goddamn live streams. If I didn't live stream this, you wouldn't know. You'd just be like, oh, donuts, huh? Oh, thank you. I'll have one. See how that works? I feel like I'm putting all my vulnerability on the internet here. It's for people to judge. Could have microwaved. Oh, yeah. I could have microwaved. You could not have. Well, too late now. You know what my experience with microwaves is? Makes good butter for popcorn. Melted. When life gives you butter, soften it. Well, that, yeah, that's not bad advice. There's a great advice in the, in the chat this morning. Well, now my problem is all my butter's in my, this thing. So let's see if we can debutter this. This is going to be a new recipe. The recipe is start with refrigerator butter. And then mash it in with the dough blender into the sugar. See, I'm, I'm changing the recipe up. This is a brand new recipe. You haven't heard of this one yet. It makes for better sugar butter uh, incorporation. It's a little known fact. Except for now I have less butter and less sugar for the donuts. But uh, if I only had like a little brush made for kitchen work. What do I got here? <laughs> Look at there. I got one. Let's see if we can get this out. Come on. I think this is turning into a never ending. Uh, we're not going to be able to get it all out, I don't think. The angel share is what we're going to call that. And that, like a whiskey thing, the part that evaporates is for the angels. Well, this is for the, well, the house mouse probably will get that, if I'll be honest with you. We're going to reserve that because we might use that later, depending on how the rest of this goes. And that. That's softened. Perfect. And that. Look, I softened that through the magic of editing. Welcome to the stream. I just softened the butter. Well, I need more coffee immediately. All right, quarter cup vegetable oils next, I think, with the instructions here. It says preheat the oven, not doing that. Grease two standard. So the grease thing. I don't know if I have to grease these pans. I believe these are like Teflon. Do I grease that? What do I grease it with? I don't have any Crisco, I don't think. And if I do, it's probably so old, I wouldn't want to eat it anyways. All right, butter, oil, sugar. Let's put the oil in. It's a quarter cup. Here we go. Let's make sure that we're actually filming what we're doing. Whoa, just about wrecked a guy there. Quarter cup of oil going into uh, marginally softened butter and sugar. Uh, apparently, we're frying the donuts from the inside. That's that's the gist I'm getting here is they're inside fried donuts. All right, let's see if we can mix that. I don't know how that's going to work. Actually, actually, that's mixing about as bad as I thought it would mix. All right, I'm not sure if that's the right tool, but... It's all the rage now. All right, next. Add eggs. How many eggs? I think it's two eggs. Uh, eggs. Two large eggs. Check. We've got them right here, kids. Look, I brought eggs. Two eggs. Here we go. When life gives you hard butter, add two eggs. That one, I mean, is that a cracked egg? What the shit? Liquids need liquid measuring devices. And you might be onto something there, actually, now that you mentioned that, but uh, that's too late. Hold an audible on that one. Oil is oil is more of a a thick a thick solid. You might I might have just screwed that up. Now that you mentioned that, that's always been my thing too. Why did Why did I do that wrong? I don't even know why I did that. That's kind of strange. Good call on that though. Yeah, I should have measured that with a dry measuring spoon, should I have? Well, these donuts are ruined. That's okay. 
it's probably close. I mean, well, so the reason I did that is because I don't have the right amount of butter because it stuck to my blender. So I, the, the dry, I think, is a less. So yeah, it's, it's actually perfect. You may not realize that, but it's actually perfect. So these are going to be but, butter lumped donuts is what I'm of all these things. The pressure of a live stream. No, it's the lack of sleep and the lack of caffeine of a live stream. All right, that's, I mean, that's, that's mixed, kids, right there. All right, what's next? Go over here to the instructions. It says, mix in baking powder, baking soda. All right, baking powder, baking soda. We'll do those two next. Eggs, I think I'm done with the eggs. Let's put the eggs away. <clears throat> Free up some counter space here. I'm going to have my spoons out. Spoon, spoon! Check it out, I got a whole, I got a whole arsenal. I got a second set of these stainless ones. How great is that? And I got these old school ones, or these old schools. And I actually, I actually have a set of backup backups. You want some of my backup backups? I got backup, back, so I have, I have my first set of stainless. Good stainless. And then I got my backups. And then I got these aluminum backups. And then I've got the, uh, I got the Tupperware plastic backups. I don't really like these ones though. Plastic weirds me out. Not a huge fan of it. So we're going to use, uh, I mean, this set of backups is supposed to be on a ring, so I always have them, but then what happens is I, I dirty this one, and then I need the other one, and I have to take it off, so, yeah, that happened. All right, what am I doing here? Uh, uh, baking this, I have, I have egg right there. Do you see that egg right there? We're just going to go ahead and wipe that off with something, but not with something I want to wipe my face with. Let's, uh, let's go with the paper towel on that real quick. Just, I don't need egg on, raw egg on everything that I'm going to touch and eat with. All right, let's do that all right, these two. Now, I can't certify onto the freshness of either one of those things, but that's okay. All right, baking powder. We'll do that one first. One and a half teaspoons. Here we go. Dig down in here, find my teaspoons. That's a quarter. That's a half teaspoon there. Where's the one at? There's my two weapons of choice. Here we go. Ooh, it's still not as solid. That's that's good news. Uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right. It's supposed to go right in there. Uh, mix in baking powder, soda, nutmeg, salt, and vanilla. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do this next. Am I getting this? Oh man, I don't feel like I'm getting the shot right. Raise that up a little tiny bit. Here we go. So yeah, baked donuts. I'm not gonna lie. I prefer a fried donut, probably. But, uh, I don't know. When the baked donut pans are sitting there in mass and the time is now, you do it. Uh, baking powder. Oh, dude, I just screwed that up. Did I? Pick? Nope, I did it right. Baking soda, quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Holy shit, I thought I just did them backwards. How funny would that be? Oh man, I am a scrub. I don't know why I'm so good at what everything I do. I think part of the problem is uh, people don't see what I do. They just see the results of what I do. They're like, man, he's amazing. They don't they don't see how the they don't see how the donuts get made. Uh, see how that works? People don't know how the donuts are made. They just see the donuts at the end. Like, oh look what he did. Like, no, he was half asleep trying to drink his coffee, mixing his measurements up, doing it wrong. <laughs> yep. <laughs> pressure there's no pressure on this it's all fake pressure all right here we go now nutmeg that was freaking me out and i don't know why i was supposed to put nutmeg in this thing but we're gonna put nutmeg in it one teaspoon of nutmeg man i mean that's like I, I kept looking for a recipe with no nutmeg i was like dude i don't want nutmeg in my goddamn donut but apparently i don't know if you know this or not donuts have nutmeg in them <laughs> did you know that i didn't know that and finally, someone was like, someone explains, like, if you don't put the nutmeg in when you eat the donut, it's not going to taste like a donut. Like, whatever it is that you think a donut tastes like, it's because it's got nutmeg in it. That seems like an alarming amount of nutmeg. All right, salt. So this morning when I was getting the ingredients out, I kept saying to myself, don't forget to get the salt out. Don't forget to get the salt out. Don't forget to get the salt out. You know what I didn't do? I never got the salt out. God damn it. All right, salt's out. Salt. Three-quarter teaspoon. 
That seems like a lot of salt. Uh, I'm backing that off. We're gonna do a half teaspoon. That's way too much salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt? You're out of your mind. We're gonna do a heaping, we're gonna do a heaping half is what we're gonna do. Because, let's mix this in. Let's mix this in. Ooh, that nutmeg? Yeah, there's chunks of it. Oh my God. You're just gonna get nutmeg blasted. Didn't think about that. That's fine. All right, should pour salt over the food, but since I'm a professional, it's allowable. And it's a heaping half because it was supposed to be three quarters. So here we go. See how I explain it all? I'm explaining as I go so you understand. Are these gonna be cake donuts, frosting? Uh, I believe it is a type of a cake donut. I looked at how, can you do, can you, I looked into can you do yeast donuts in a uh, in baking and like when you make a yeast donut you roll it out and you cut it. Well, if you're cutting it, what's the point of having a pan? It's kind of what I was kind of thinking. So this nutmeg is freaking me out because apparently there was chunks of it, and that could be disastrous. So if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to break up a giant clump of nutmeg. Um, let's go with a knife. Get in here and squish these little guys. I mean, they break apart real easy. Ooh, I can hit with the blender. Should I do that? This thing? Yeah, full power! Woo! Beat it! Perfection! That didn't do a goddamn thing. All it did is make me think I'm probably gonna whip my eggs and make a souffle. Okay. I think there was like one more thing I was supposed to do to see. Uh, so what I was going to do is just, uh, this is a recipe for like, uh, powdered donuts is what they're supposed to be when I'm done. So I got powdered sugar, but you can put whatever you want on top. Let's see. Baking powder, some salt, vanilla, vanilla's next. That's what's next. That's what's up. How much vanilla? We got this. This is my vanilla. I'm using this Mexican, uh, almost vanilla vanilla. It's amazing. Let's smell it. Let's get sniff in there. It smells so good. It smells so good. I think I, be I like it better than real vanilla, mainly because it's way cheaper. Um, one teaspoon of vanilla. Well, what I found out in life is when you have this much vanilla, you do more than a teaspoon. So we're gonna do a splashed teaspoon. One splashed teaspoon here. Here we go. Okay. That just happened. Yeah, apparently I'm just gonna put everything. Well, let's put it right there. I don't even care. Don't even care. Care not, Karen. Is it here, Karen? The butter still got chunks in it. That's pretty less than op optimal. If I had to like venture, I still need to break up some of this nutmeg. I, I, I shook that nutmeg and it seemed pretty powdery. I don't know. I may have misjudged my powderiness of my nutmeg. I guess if you're in nutmeg though, like I'd be like, dude, did I just get a big hit of nutmeg there? Like, oh dude, it's so good. What's weird is it's not hard. It's like, it's like the liquid is like encapsulated. Or something. Anyways, what do we got here? Are those going to be cake donuts? Did, how many times you, oh, I tried to bake donuts once. Hopefully this goes better. Ah, yeah. Well, here's the deal. I, you want, you want to know the secret? So what, what went wrong? Was it the filling of the thing or the baking? Of, what went wrong when you made it? Because I watched a video of a guy doing this and like, I don't want to, I don't want to insult anybody, but here, I'm going to back this out. Have you ever seen someone who's really good at cooking? You know, they're so good at cooking when they do stuff, they get right down. Like, we're going to mix. Oh, and then you get their arm all up. There. We're mixing this. And then they, 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 they get tweezers out. It's like, ah, oh, we're just going to, we're just going to mix this in. And it's like, ah, oh, it's so amazing. And like, the guy started filling the donut things and like, it was everywhere. He was, he was just, he's just like, and he was doing the elbow up. He's like, oh, just gonna, just drizzle it in. It's just, just ah, oh, I'm such a professional chef. So the shit was everywhere. I mean, anyone who'd ever bake would be like, dude, that's a disaster. That's just gonna burn your pan. And then it's like, then it's cut. They come back. No, no, nothing on there. Perfectly filled. It's like, dude, the guy's not even cooked. Someone else filled that off screen. Like, I laughed so hard. I was like, that was the fakest shit I ever saw in my entire life. 
just some guy with his elbow up going, yeah, you just gotta, oh, dude, just, just put a little bit, oh, just, just, oh, you know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about, you've seen it before, it's like, I don't even know how, whatever, I'm sorry to get my blood pressure up, but like, holy crap, so I got a surprise for the film of those, I'm gonna wait, it's a teaser, you want, you want to wait for that, or? All right, what's next? What's next? Gradually mix in flour, milk, alternating, beginning and ending with flour. What? What? I have to start and end with flour? What kind of pressure is that, dude? No pressure there. Make sure you, oh my God. How much milk am I supposed to have? Here, liquid. You think I don't have liquid? I got every goddamn liquid measuring cup they make on the planet Earth. Let's see here, one cup, all right. Where's my milk at? We're using vitamin D milk. Let's check it. it smells fresh. One cup. Am I? You know, how would I film it so you can't see what I'm doing? Now, when you do liquids, put it on the table and then eyeball it. Get it perfect. All right. So I have, okay. What was that instruction? Start with flour, end with flour, but alternate. Well, how many alternations? Is it three alternations? Four? Six? I mean, that's like, <laughs> I read some instructions the other day, I swear to God, the instruction said, to open this toy, grab the corner and open it like a pistachio. Like a pistachio, literally, that's what it said. That was the instructions, it was that, it was that flippy cube thing. Open it like a pistachio, I'm thinking, who is writing these instructions? You're like, that's, that's making so many assumptions, like, <laughs> that you've had pistachios, that you didn't buy pre-shelled pistachios, I mean, is it a fresh pistachio? Because I'm sure you shell a fresh pistachio way different than a, you know, whatever. I'm starting to get out of it. I'm starting to get, yeah, I'm getting off topic here. All right, how much flour is it? Flour, two and three, what? Two and two thirds cup? Do I even have a two thirds cup? I have a one thirds cup. Where am I gonna find a two? A two and two thirds cup? Two thirds. Is two thirds a thing? I mean, it's two one thirds, but. Two-thirds. Let me check this if I have two-thirds. One-third, three-quarter. I guess we're going to do two one-thirds. Well, that'll be easy. I'll start with a one-third. Where it went? What do I do with it? I'll start with a one-third, then put two of those in, and then end with a one-third. I open Exactly! So they open that toy with a hammer? Like, you ever had the pistachio you couldn't get open yet? It's like... that. I'm, I'm not being, I'm not exaggerating. That's literally what the instructions on that toy said. It was open it like you open a pistachio. And I'm like, I was joking with somebody the other day. It's like, I'm just trying to weave that into my conversations from here on until the end of my life. It's like, I want to get, I want to be in a real life situation talking with a person that doesn't know what I know it's coming and explain to them how to do it and, and, and work in there like a pistachio. Like I, that's my life goal right at this point. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't even know how it's like. I can't get this open. It's like, oh, open it like a pistachio. And then I want them to go, oh. And then, you know what I mean? Like, that's like a life goal of mine is to have that work out exactly perfect. How great would that be? All right, two and two thirds cup flour. So we're going to start with the one, th one, one third cup. I don't forget what I'm doing. So I was taught that you don't scoop the flour because it'll pack it. You scoop the flour and then ladle it in. Am I getting that so you can see? Just, just get it in there good. Put extra in and then take a, and, and level it well. I got a hole in there, but that's fine. There's our one third. That's our start. Okay, and then we're gonna reserve that for later. Oh man, how about that film job there? Just filming not at all what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm supposed to do. Okay, let's think about this. So it's gonna be flour, milk, cup of flour, milk, cup of flour, milk, one third. So I got, I got four, so it's, 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 it's less than a quarter cup goes in here right now. So there we go. Man, these instructions, I tell you. I mean, does the donut know that the flour went in first and last? Like, I don't even know how this works. The donut's gonna be like, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Did you put the flour in? You know what I'm gonna need to? I'm gonna need a, we're going with the big boy. We're going with the big boy, bam! Big boy, look at that thing. That's bigger than the mixing bowl. That's a big boy. We're gonna need that, so we're gonna put that up there for later. Okay, now we're going cup. Let's put that cup in there. Let's get this cup going. 
I love pistachios, actually. I don't, I don't buy them very often. I think, my, is pistachios expensive? Is that what the deal with those is? That's probably why I don't buy them very often. Funny how that works. All the good stuff in life is, like, expensive, so, yeah. Like those hubs, man. <laughs> those hub peanuts, you know how long those lasted? Take a guess. <laughs> Not very long. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, wait. Flour, milk, flour. Now add some more milk, yep. Oh, my dog wants out. Okay. Well, dog, guess what? I, remember I told you right before I started the stream? I'm letting you out, and that's the last time you're getting out for a little while. So, come here, bird. You're not going out right now. Because I let you out earlier, and then I let you out again, and now I'm making donuts. The world wants to see how the donuts are made. All right, we got to get in. We got to get some of this off the sides. Yes, a one-pound pistachio is $20. Yeah, but, I mean, $20 doesn't buy what it used to. I mean, come on now. $20 is like, how many items is that at the, at the Dollar General? Two? And how many things could you buy at the Dollar General for $2? Or for $20? <laughs> okay, let's do another cup of flour. Let's do this. Let's get this flour in here. I suppose they tell you to alternate it in case you make a complete disaster and you don't need that last little bit of flour, right? That's what they should say. Pour some out for my homies. Because this dough whisk is working pretty good, actually. This Danish dough hook. Pretty impressed with these. What's kind of crazy is like, so my mother showed me these things. I was like, I want one of these. And then I found one at the 50 cent store. And I was like, hey, I found one for you. Then I was like, found another one. I was like, well, I, I want one now. You know, if she wanted one, I want one. And I kept finding them. I kept buying them, you know. And now they're, they're always there. And I've, I've got so many of these things. Like, I bought one the other day even. I bought another stainless steel one. But like, I said stop buying them. I was like, you, you can't have 500 dough hooks. Like, I've got like so many. You don't even know. I've got... I've got one, two, I think three whole stainless. I have one, two, and three wood handles, and then I got spares in the other room. But what I started doing is anytime I saw one, I just turned to the person next to me and was like, do you have one of these? And they, everyone goes, what is it? And I go, it's a Danish dough hook for mixing heavy batters. And they go, either get the fuck away from me, weirdo, or they're like, oh. And uh, I've, I've, I've sold a couple of these things to people. I was like, dude, if you mix anything heavy, it's better than a wire whisk. And they're like, oh. All right, we're down to the last third. So let's put all this milk in. Oh, I think I should put the flour in first. Well, let's mix this in and see how liquidy it is, and we'll add the flour to, to match. I did do something right. That needs flour immediately. Immediately! It's supposed to be flour last. I screwed that rotation up. Jesus criminy. How do you mix the rotation up so so stupidly? Well, we're gonna we're gonna put half of that in because we might, might not need it all. It's called playing it by eye. I think I should have put more milk in as I was going. I didn't get my milk proportions correct. I under milked it. Now there's nowhere for the milk to go. The, the, the powder is, has, meet, has met max saturation. There's nowhere for the milk to go. How will we continue? It's stuck on the edges. Oh, I think we can go a little more. We're going to save a little tiny bit, just in case it gets too much. <laughs> I act like I know what the consistency is supposed to be, right? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Here we go. Put it all in. Bam. Now, did I miss anything? Butter's in, oil's in, sugar's in. Oh, brown sugar. Shit. I forgot the brown sugar. Oh, that's a disaster. That was supposed to go in with the sugars. Ah! Oh, that's not going to mix in very well, is it? That's, I screwed that up. All right, first, first absolute mistake. Okay, we're, we're pulling an audible. Yeah, brown sugar's going in right now. One third cup, right? Yep, I screwed that up immensely. Ugh. Well, so this is a tutorial if you forgot to put your brown sugar in. Can you continue? Well, we're going to find out together, kids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, good times. Is it, should you throw your batter out if you forgot to put your brown sugar in? Tune in. Elf Shells will do the experiment for you. 
And you can find out if you were supposed to throw your batter out, if you forgot to put your brown sugar in. So far it's looking like, uh, I should get the magic eight ball out and ask it. So this is what I'm gonna blame. I hate cooking off a tablet. Does anyone else feel that way? Cooking off a tablet has gotta be the absolute worst shit in the world. All right, we're going back through, make sure we've got everything. So butter's in, oil's in, sugar's in, brown sugar just got in, eggs, baking powder, baking soda, nutmeg, salt, vanilla extract, flour, milk, and then powdered sugar for the uh, dusting. All right, so if you can tell, we still have chunks of butter in there, so that's going to be interesting. Let's, uh, let's scrape this all down. Let's scrape it down. And then we'll... We'll make a decision as a group. What do, do I do? I do I oil the pan? Do I leave the pan ride solo? Do I put a little bit of veg oil in the pan? What 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 does what does the internet think I should do right now? Comment below. Time for the power mixer. I agree. I agree. Power mixer. Let's do it. Should we hit the turbo button? Oh yeah! Full speed power. Vanquish that brown sugar. Who wants to lick the batters? That was my favorite thing growing up. I love licking the licking the mixers. Absolutely the best. All right, nonstick pan. Might as well test it. Well, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Go with the full send. Do you guys want to see my stack of ten of these? I have literally have ten of these things. These are kind of expensive too. That's the crazy part. I figured I got like $150 worth of pans if we're, uh, I got them for 50 cents. <laughs> how crazy is that? Depending on what, how fancy the, the, the uh, establishment that you buy them from is, they could be even more than that. Some, some places want 30 bucks a pan, like William Sonoma. Shit's out of, out of control. All right, we gotta do a little cleanup here, so we're just gonna do this. Right here. That's how we're cleaning this up. See, do a little cleanup. Shove it over there. All right. Now for the surprise. You ready? Look what we're gonna use. That's right. Do, uh, frosting bags. Yeah, we're gonna fill that and we're gonna go. We're gonna go. That's gonna be the plan. That's gonna be the move. All right, first things first. First things first. Let's get everything that's made of plastic away from that thing. So when it lights it all on fire, uh, we won't have to put a burning piece of plastic out because that's no fun. Okay, let's, uh, let's get this out of the way. Let's just shove it over here. Okay. All right, that's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. We're gonna, we're gonna get this thing preheated. Uh, it's supposed to be 450, so let's find 450 on here. Uh, I guess we were at 450. We're gonna do conventional bake, and we're warming her up. Conventional bake. 450. All right. So what I got to figure out now is how do you get that dough into this? I'm going to go probably a spoon. What do you think about a spoon? This is too much shit here. God damn it. Just like there's going to be stickiness everywhere. All right. We need a spoon. I think we're going to go with this spoon. Does that spoon look like the spoon that you... Now, I don't even know this is a good idea. This is my idea, kids. This is how El Show solves problems. Let's fill this bad boy up. Now, this, is, this recipe is supposed to make uh, a dozen donuts, and that pan holds six. And last time I checked, half a dozen was six. Oh, yeah, this is going to be messy. But I'm hoping like this messiness is eclipsing the messiness of not doing this is, is what I'm what I'm hoping for. I don't even know if I'm getting this on film. I feel like I'm failing. Am I failing? I feel like I'm failing. Just use one of your measuring cups? Well, the thing is like, when I watched the videos of people making this, the filling of it was the impossible part in it. It was like, no matter what they did, it didn't go well. It was like the feeling I was like, that's how I felt like this thing goes. 
So my plan is I'm just going to make this thing messy and then I'm going to cut a little hole in the bottom of it and then it's going to be like absolutely amazing. Does that seem, I mean, plus I bought like a bunch of these bags and if I don't start using them, I'm going to have to leave them in my will to somebody. And like who wants frosting bags left them in a will? Like, oh, El Shell's left me something. What did he leave you? Frosting bags. Like, oh, yeah. Thanks, bud. Okay. Let's keep filling it. I don't know how much goes in here. Like I said, this might be the worst idea ever. I mean, that's pretty messy up there. Like, uh, what do I need? I need something to hold this. Let's get this out. We'll use a cup. Like that. See that? how that works? See what I just did there? I'm going to grab a paper towel real quick. Just give it the old. Whoop! That's clean enough right there, kids. That's clean enough. Turn down the, oh yeah, where'd you learn that from? That's a great idea. That's a great idea. If I'd only thought of that myself. See, in my in my imagination, that was gonna go a lot smoother than that. Fill this bag. All right, here's the deal is, where's the tip go? Uh, we're just going to, uh... I gotta find a place to cut this tip where it's not gonna go in the batter. Let's go, let's go in this cup. We're gonna go small cut. Oh, it's happening. All right, here we go. I'm trying to aim the camera right. Here we go. Oh, did you see the top of that? I wasn't paying any attention. You see me almost squirt that all at the top. So like this has the potential for being the right way to do it. I'm just doing it wrong. Oh my God. So the first one I screwed up. I think I overfilled the bag. I don't think you're supposed to, because I see how it's spilling on my hand right now. I, I hope the camera's getting this. I, I am just completely out of control right now. Even this is making a mess. <laughs> the anticipation. Ooh, I got, I got that one across pretty good. Now, the thing I'm loving right now is this pan, the, the oven's hot, so my hand's like kind of on fire a little bit being that close. That's okay. So dip it in there. You see how I, I dipped the dot there? So like I was reading stuff like, you don't need a donut pan, just take a piece of tin foil and a muffin pan. I'm thinking, now nah, kids. What kind of way is that to go about life? Ooh, I found a butter chunk or something. Someone's getting a surprise right there. It clogged the tip. There's another one. Extra buttery goodness. This one needs a little more. Okay, back into the thing. And then, uh, so yeah, I need to wash my hands. I don't know if I got that filled. I couldn't look. I, I was concentrating pretty hard right there. So I apologize if that was the most ruined, uh, yeah. Now that I just have like butter hands. Okay. I think you're only supposed to fill half. Uh, well, do you have donut pans? Have you made donuts in a donut pan? Because I think you're wrong. I think you're supposed to fill them almost to the top. That's what I think. And that's what I did. And yes, you want them to rise because they're donuts. Here, I'll, I'll explain this here shortly once I get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. I licked that finger, not this one. All right, so the way this works, if you look at this pan, this is a half of a donut. So the other half is going to come up. And you're going to get a weird ring because it's going to do a little thing there, but... I have and I do. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. I mean, if you want half a donut, fill it halfway. All right. I don't know if this pan or if this thing is hot enough. So, well, here. That one's filled less. We'll, we'll see if you're right. Put 
put that in there. I did wash that, by the way, in case you're wondering. All right, let's set a timer. Uh, let's see. Pre 10 minutes. Uh, bake time, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then it says leave it in the pan for seven minutes, so that's kind of weird. So let's lower this down a little bit here. See if we can get a little bit of everything in the shot here. Can I get a light? Shooting in there. All right, Toe Shifter, you watch those for me. Well, I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do next here. I think I'm going to abandon this bag. And uh, I have a second bag. It's gonna be my plan, I think. Because this is just, we're just gonna squeeze all that out. And then I'll grab, I'll grab the second bag and we'll try it with the rolled edge and see if that works better. I may not be fully efficient on all my uh, ingredients here, but sometimes in life there has to be spillage. All right, let me check what comments I've been missing. I think you're uh, bigger hole. Cut a bigger hole. Okay, I might try that. I do have more bags, so let's do this. Let's get ready to yeah. Let's let's do some actual cleaning up here. Let's get some of this out of the way. I figured what I'd do while we're waiting is I'd make some juice. We're just gonna, let's go from there to the sink. Let's just put all this in the sink. Huh? How's that sound? Is that a good plan? Oh, I grab my coffee spoon. Well, I grab another one. How's those donuts doing? Are they ruined yet? Did I ruin them? 17 minutes. Jeez. Well, I mean, you think I'm going to let them sit for seven minutes? I'm going to definitely. Oh, dude. How about this for a crime? Look at that. Like that for a crime. The mixing in the, oh God, that happened. That actually happened. Well, yeah, that's getting washed. Oh man, yeah, whatever. I don't even know what to say right now. Ah! Wish I had a little bit bigger kitchen sometimes, not gonna lie. Not much bigger, like, like I wish, yeah, we, like where my trash cans are, I wish that was counted. That's all I need, it's like two feet. If I said two foot of cabinet right there, it's all I would need in life, man. It would make all the difference. Like, do I do that? Do I put a cabinet over there? Do I rip all my cabinets out so I get two foot cabinet? So it would need a corner cabinet is what it would need. And where would my trash cans go? Mm, let me think about that for a second. Comment below if you have a if you have a solution for any of this. I don't know. I don't think I made a disaster yet. What do you think? Ash is late. Oh, you're late. Well, welcome to the sh to the whatever you call this, the shit show. <laughs> That's what it's turned into. Absolute shit show. Let's see if I can break something here. Okay. And I don't want to just sit here and talk for seven more minutes, so we're going to do something. Let's make some juice. I'll clean that dope right there. Let's see if I can get this. Uh... I want you to be able to see the donuts, but I also want you to see what I'm doing. So we're going to go with that. Is that going to be coffee? That's the dough thing holder. That's the dough, the dough stays there. We got this thing. It's a silicone pad. They're looking fine to me. Also, haha, -ha, yes, as always. Ha, ha yes, exactly. That's how it rolls when I'm in charge. <laughs> it's just like, it's, I mean, it's supposed to be fun. What, what I like to think is like, I think I cook probably like most people do. Just like, what is happening? Like, not full panic mode, but like, I guess why a lot of people don't cook. Because like, they tried it once and it was like, I forgot the brown sugar and they get mad like you know what you do when you forget the brown sugar add the brown sugar you know is, is the donut gonna say wait a second i mean yeah it's the back corner donut is looking prime uh that one that was underfilled is looking sad and and short bud these ones up here are looking premium actually you might be honest with something my donut holes are not gonna have holes in them I might have overfilled those. That's okay. That's okay. Let's make some juice while we're waiting for that. Let's see if I can get this bottom screwed on. What is happening? It's the wrong bottom? There we go. Yeah, it looks like I'm making muffins at this point. Except for the fact that they'll be on the underside of the donut. There will be a donut hole. That's, that's what I'm going to go with. 
I mean, that batter was supposed to make two dozen or one dozen, and that's half a dozen. There's way more batter there than. <laughs> yeah, it's always as homie as it gets home. Homie! All right, here we go. We're going for water. So, what kind of juice are we making today? Any guesses? Guess below if you know what kind of juice we're making. Well, I get ready here. It's a donut bowl. There you go. Yeah, those holes definitely. Uh, I'm not gonna say you were right because I don't. I don't think you were right, but I may have been wrong. Anyways, uh, yeah. No guesses on the juice, huh? Well, here we go. Apple raspberry, 100% juice, no sugar added, 80% of your vitamin C. Flavored blend with added ingredients. Concentrate. Concentrate. Oh, concentrate. Pineapple cream. <laughs> Close. Close. There must be a delay in the, uh, yeah, there's a delay. Grape juice, no. Yeah, I should have waited a little longer. I always forget there's a delay. So what's going to be awesome is I'm thinking, does the top of these donuts going to taste like a muffin? So I'm, I'm making a muffin donut hybrid because the top of the muffin is the best. So I got muffin top, donut bottom. Oh, dude, I just invented a new thing. That's what's happening here, kids. That's what I just invented. A brand new thing. It's a, mu a, a dough muffin, muff nut. A muff nut? Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> a muff nut. Oh, how would I stay in front of the camera while I pour this to? Perfect. Alright, we're gonna go with two for now. Let's give us the old bloody blend. And then the third. Okay. Ooh, that's full. One light blend, just to just to mix it up. Okay. So that's done. Put that there. Move this here. Actually, I just unplug that and get that out of here. We're gonna need some room here, I think. We're gonna need some room to put stuff because stuff's happened. All right, that's hot proof. This is minorly hot proof. That's trash, or recycling, sorry, not trash. That needs to go, this is for the next one. Uh, I need like a, a cooling rack, don't I? Do you have to put them on a cooling rack? Ah, what's happening? I got a cooling rack right there, bam. So cooling rack. Cooling rack, muffin rack. So am I gonna put that like is that am I getting right. so is the plan let's make a plan here. Is the plan gonna be the donut muffins come out and go on this thing or am I going up here? And I need I need my uh, hot my hot pads. I get hot pads right here. I'm gonna raise this up. So yeah. It didn't matter, they all over expanded. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I need a glass of juice though. I haven't spilled juice today, so let's go ahead and spill some juice real quick because there's one minute till those come out. Okay, let's spill some juice. This always spills, no matter what I do. First cup is guaranteed to spill. Let's uh let's film me spilling my juice here. Here we go. Spill! Oh yeah, that spilled all over. There's nothing I can do about it too. It's completely out of my control. We're just gonna go ahead and get this out of the out of the shot. I don't need more juice today. One cup's probably, I mean that's probably like actually four cups of juice, but that's how it tastes. Smells good. Ooh. That is delicious. Okay. Well that towel's aced, so we'll have to get another towel out. Unfortunately, oh I got one left. I need to do laundry. You know, you're getting bad. You're getting down to your ratty towels. Yeah, I'll show those on the internet. I don't care. Towel doesn't know when it wipes my face. Okay. Let's figure out, like, there's supposed to be like a powdered donut frosting something I'm supposed to be making, I think. I don't think I'm actually going to do a frosting, because, like, that is just going to be way too much work. 
Yeah, I made donut muffins. This is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Like, how? I don't know how many. All right. Cool pans, seven minutes before turning on the wire. See, cool pans for seven minutes before putting on the wire rack. So is the pan go on the wire rack? Evenly coat in confectioner sugar. Hmm. How's that going to work? Okay. That's, those donuts are done. We're going to use these guys. We're going to use these guys. A waka, 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 waka. Which one should be? Should we do shark puppet? Oh, yeah! I'm shark puppet! And then line, oh, I heard, I heard you made donut muffins. I can't wait. Yeah! Oh yeah, we made donut muffins, check that out. They all overcooked. Perfect. Oh man. Donut muffins, who is in charge of this operation? How do they look, how do they look? I mean, I kinda wanna just eat one right now. Like, I wanna eat one of those right now. So let's, let's grab one. Oh yeah, they're stuck, mm, okay. So maybe we should oil this pan a little bit. What do you think, kids? Let's try one. Let's try one oiled and one not. Probably should have. Let's yeah. Let's, let's let's oil this pan. I got the sprayer here. Let's do it. one pump at each. Pump, 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 and then we'll uh we'll break it real quick. We'll grab a we'll grab a one of these guys and we'll give it the old. Doo -doo 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 Maybe that seven minutes makes those release. I, I don't really know. But we're going to try one one way and one the other. And then uh, maybe not on stream because I don't know if I'm going to stream that long. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, I can probably turn this off maybe. I don't, do I need this running while I'm screwing around here? All right. So we got oil in this one this time. Nonstick is the way to go. And this is nonstick. But somehow yet it seems to be stuck. <laughs> All right, let's try to do this uh, stupid bag a little more less shitty. We're, we're going to use our experience. So what we're going to do, and if you've ever seen my videos before, you'll learn, roll your bag down at the top. <laughs> that's, that's my advice that I didn't even follow. Like, see how that works? Follow your own advice, kids. All right. So let's move some stuff around. We're going to go back to... There with that, I guess. We're gonna pull this forward. We're gonna hold him on the high side. Am I gonna be able to, is that gonna, let's go for it. And let's spoon it in. Here we go. First one dribbled down the side, excellent. Dribbled in and dribbled out. I wonder if that big spatula is what I should be using. It probably is. I think the moral of the story is just go to the store and buy donuts. I think that's probably what is the moral of this live stream is like, just go buy donuts because this is just a lot of work. Let's see here. Those muffins are finished. Yeah. No, dude, I got muffin donuts. You never heard, did you, did you know there was such a thing? A muffin donut? So it's like kind of freaking me out as I'm usually more like, I don't want to waste materials, but like right now I'm thinking this is going to be the last of my donuts. Cause like, here's the other thing I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat a dozen donuts. Like there ain't enough preservatives in these donuts here for me to, uh, I'm going to quit this. This has to go someplace right now. Let's put it right there. Okay. That'll probably be on the floor. There's not enough preservatives in these donuts for them to last long enough for me to eat a dozen donuts. I mean, yeah, I'll probably eat them. I mean, let's be real. Man, I already put that spatula away. Let's get another spatula out. <laughs> I've got a dishwasher. That's unfortunately completely full right now because that's how I roll. Okay. Take that up. Now this time, what I'm going to do... I'm gonna go for like some sort of a seal off here with like a twist. I think that's how it's supposed to work. All right, now we got a donut blasting bag, All right? We get our scissors that are completely filthy with donut. We're gonna 
Let me get this close here. Toe shifters say don't fill them as much, but the problem is I need to use all this, this uh, and then I'm gonna dip it in there. Ooh, that's less spillage. I don't think I'm filming it very well. Sorry, I stopped to look at the camera. Oh, now I'm just going completely crazy. Did anyone start a timer on that seven minutes? I guess we're gonna do half fields. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna make more. I gotta. I have to cook more donuts. Like, what is happening? Where's my pan at? It's, can I do that? Can I just set it right there? Nope. Can't do that. Do that though. Okay. Let's get this thing going again. Uh, on. Uh, we'll just use the towel because I'm a renegade. In my finger because I'm a double renegade. Pull that in. Here we go. That's a cool pan. Don't burn your fingers on hot pan, kids. Get that out of the way. All right, so that one's a little more full. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. The experiment begins. Timer. 10 minutes. All right, it's time to break one of these donuts out immediately. My dog's like horking in the other room. Oh, let's get a plate. Let's get a plate. Let's get a plate. They say to cool them on a wire rack. Cool them in my mouth when I'm eating them. That's why I'm gonna cool these things. Right in my mouth. Uh, let me think, do I wanna just do a flip? Let's do a flip. There are donuts, they might roll away. Uh, okay, one's out. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, look what I made. <laughs> Who makes donuts? Elf Shelves does. Okay. I'm a donut making fool. Dude, I just had an idea. You ready for this? You know what that looks like? That looks like a spot you should put jelly. I should put jelly in that donut. What do you think about that? Let's kick this up a notch. Let's go donuts with jelly. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're going... Oh, there's no strawberry. Uh, I guess we're doing grape jelly today. Grape, grape jelly donuts? Like, is that a thing? Yep, just turned into a thing. Oh, yeah, we're doing grape jelly donuts. Here we go. Here we go. Make sure I get this over here. Fill that bad boy with some grape jelly. I would have preferred strawberry, but I don't have... I mean, I do, but, like, the jar is so empty, it'd be a little embarrassing to, uh... Show that on the internet. Okay. That is a grape filled. A grape jelly donut right there, kids. Well, I'm supposed to put powdered sugar on these things somehow. Like, I don't know how you do that. Let's, uh, let's learn together. Powdered sugar. Right here. Let's get a, maybe a spoon or something. Like, how do you powder your donuts? Oh, burn it, calm down. I probably want out. I should let her out. I guess like that, huh? Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> I'm breathing powder. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm about to choke. Okay. What would I say? I'd say a lot of goddamn nutmeg is what I would say. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I just I just let some nutmeg, and that's what I would do. Holy moly. That is the most nutmeg flavored donut I've ever had in my life. Oh, not bad.
Oh, what's up, Jeremy? How am I? Uh, I just about choked on powdered sugar. So that's fun. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, that coffee tastes really good, though. Wow. This brought my coffee to life. Let's let the dog out real quick. I did clean my kitchen, but I got to kind of censor the rest of the house. Because <coughs> that's not quite exactly clean. Dog's got her coat on today. Is that even in the shot? Berta! Don't go outside? Okay. Stay out of the mud, please. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it seemed like it was an emergency. Yeah, real emergency. You just had to go out there on the front porch and stand. That's all you want to do. Okay, I got you. Thanks for ruining the live stream. You better go potty if you're going to bark like that by the door. Yeah, good girl. All right, let's go back in here. She'll be back. Oh my God. All right. Okay. I'm late. She looks down. Yeah, she, she's had that coat on for three days. She's just been wearing it. Some cinnamon. Like, I don't want, like, you know what I wanted? You know those, the, the donuts you buy in the white bag that are like powdered little, that's what I wanted to make. And that's not what I have here at all. Let's try one of these just regular jelly ones. Pretty good. I mean, if anyone's going to try to convince you that a not fried donut is the same as a baked donut, well, just just know exactly that they're lying to you. Like the a fried donut's a fried donut. But I mean, I like the jelly pill. Now, what I really need is my coffee not to be ice cold right now, which it is. But it's supposed to be coffee and donuts. I mean, I don't know. Would I have bought a donut uh, pan at full price at a retail store because I was donut pan shopping? Never. <laughs> nope. I would never, ever in a million years do that. But, like, when you're at the store that sells stuff for 50 cents, and they got, oh, just drop that up, and they got donut pans. Do you buy a bunch? Yep, sure do. I mean, they're fun. They're, I mean, you... I'm not going to lie. I kind of think you could bake, like, yeah, dude, bake muffins in that. that that's a mind bender right there. And then stuff the bottom of the muffin with something. Like, you know how great that would be? Let's see, cranberry muffins. And then you put underneath. And then when people, it's like, surprise, you got something great right there. Oh, dude, that's a new genre right there. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I just don't know how you keep the, whatever is the surprise from leaking out, but, I mean, maybe it just leaks out a little bit. Because there, everybody knows the top of the muffin is the best part of the muffin. I mean, that's obvious. I can't see the screen because my sugar's in the way. You didn't set a timer? What? For what, the seven minutes or the ten minutes? Which timer did I set? This timer right here? I sure as shit did. Nice try, buddy. Nice try. Seven minute cool down, that's a serving suggestion. Oh man, so like your name Ash is freaking, uh, not freaking me out, but I, I keep thinking that you're typing Ash is late. That's funny. Yeah, nutmeg, I don't know about that. Oh, by the way, my dog wants back in. So that's fun. Oh, well. I guess we're going to get the dog. I got two minutes. Let's check these donuts out. Well, you can see them. I mean, yeah. Half a donut, I guess. Whatever. All right, here we go. I mean, I could show you my messy house. It ain't that big of a deal. It's just... It seems more fun to be mysterious, right? <laughs> Doggy! Should we crack the door and see if she wants in? Do you want to come in? Do you want to come inside? Oh, you hit your head! You bumped your head! Oh, you're upset! Okay, I got you. Here, you crooked. Pupper Jack has got fake pockets. 
See, at, at first I thought it was too short, but it goes around her waist. Her pants go down here. See how it works? You don't have any pants. She's going, uh, what's it called, Porky Piggin? <laughs> She's Porky Piggin! No pants! For all you know, I'm Porky Piggin. Well, that's not true. Watch out, dog! I'm coming through! You gotta make a move! Make a move! Here we go. Oh, we got a comment here. Hold on a second. I got to check the comment. Yeah, it's just your username. Oh, Bird wants a donut? You want a donut? Shit, yeah, she wants a donut. Let's give her some donut. Let's break her little piece of donut off. You want powdered sugar in your donut? Oh, of course she does. We'll just dip it in the powdered sugar. Uh, Birdo? Was it good? Uh, apparently, she's a fan of the nutmeg. Well, let's see what happens. Well, are you, are you even enjoying it or are you just swallowing it in whole? All right, give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Berta, stop skins. Hey, give me five. Atta girl. Oh, the timer I didn't set's going off. Hmm, funny how that works. All right, make some room, dog. You got a whole donut. You know how many dogs got a donut right now in their life? How many dogs are playing or just ate a whole donut, Berta? Take a guess. Less than you would think. All right. Uh, is that hot? I kind of wish I would have washed three pans to start with, but I didn't, so that's gonna get awkward. All right, so yeah, maybe if you don't film all the way, it makes a donut. You're right, I was wrong. You're smart, I'm dumb. You're beautiful, I'm ugly, whatever. Your pants look good on you, mine don't. Well, I can't think of any other things. <laughs> but I made donut muffins. You've never had a donut muffin before, so there's always that. It's called a happy accident. All right, I need to get this clean so I can make more of these uh, ridiculous spicy nutmeg donuts. <clears throat> We're gonna go paper towel over the trash, but I guess kind of thing I don't want to film because my trash area right now is like, well, just just imagine, and then it's probably worse than that. Like trash was on Monday and it was cold, so I just went ahead and didn't take trash out, and then uh, yeah. I just didn't even take it out to the can, so there's like two cans of, or two bags of trash just laying here, so, you know. Like I said, uh, this week, the, the maid got the week off, so she wasn't here to clean. Or they, I guess it's a team, I should say, they didn't make it here to clean. Maybe next week. Alright, I think I got this thing clean enough for round two. What do you think? Is that, is that clean enough for round two? Just paper towel cleaned it? Well, here's the question. Are these gonna come out because I oiled them or are they gonna be stuck because I oiled them? Because I gotta make a decision right now. They do pop out pretty easy. Let's check the color. Is the color different? I think I'm gonna go oil. I think the oil's maybe a good idea. I don't know. If you give a dog a donut, it, could, it should be a child's book. So, the funniest child's uh, book I've ever uh, owned or read in my life. And it was a real book. I actually own this book. I don't know where it is right now. It's someplace. A real book uh, written by a, an author, uh, a Danish author. Uh, I used to live in Denmark for a year. I, I spent a year in Denmark. Actually, a little more than a year. Went back a couple times. Anyways, when I was living in Denmark, you know, you get into the culture and... Uh, Somehow, I don't remember exactly how this happened. It was brought to my attention. There was a book. Oops, I didn't film that. There is a book called Who? I'm trying to remember the exact uh, the way I said it. Uh, it was the. Oh, what was the title of the book? I don't even remember what the title of the book was. The premise was there was the 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 butcher had a dog. Uh, Hans Hendrik had a dog, and someone took a shit on the dog's head. 
So the whole book was about all the animals and what shape their shit was, and, and were they the ones that shit on the dog's head? And they went around to all the animals, and they're like, well, my, no, my shit does this. They'd make these sounds like clack, clack, or slack, slack, or whatever. Well, spoiler, it was a mole. The mole shit on the dog's head, and that was, I mean, the schlachter's who the, the butcher's dog. It's like, dude, it's a child, a child's <laughs> book about who shit on a dog's head. Oh, I bought that book instantly. It's so great. Ah, that's funny. Different cultures, <laughs> I guess, but like, and it was like, it was like an illustrated child's book. Funniest shit I ever saw in my life. And like, they just, I can't remember, like, I think it was the first one that got accused, went around and asked everybody because he was being accused of shitting on the dog's head. It was like, Mr. Fox, did you shit on the dog's head? No, I didn't shit on the dog's head. Like, they kept saying shit on the dog's head over and over and over. It was so great. All right, toe shifter. I just set the timer in case you're worried, bud. I know you're worried about me. All right. How long have we been going here? A little over an hour. This is a, this is a special uh, Elm Shelves live stream special from the, from the break of donuts, or how do I make it all CNN sounding? The edge of the donuts. Coming live from the edge of the donut. I don't know if it's been seven minutes, but I think these don't seem to come out. I just decided that because otherwise there's nothing for me to do. I'll see if I can do it in a way that allows all the children to see what I'm doing. Oh, that one came out on its own. You're free, Mr. Donut! You're free! Run! These actually look more like donuts, to be honest with you. Damn, I feel like I just made donuts. Did I just make a donut? Look at that. <laughs> I made a donut. Look at that guy. It's like a perfect little donut. I should have made a, a dipping glaze, like a full. Where did I buy the donuts? Well, I went to the donut monger and I bought donut ingredients for the donut monger. I mean, come on now. Let me ask you a serious question, uh, Jeremy. If you were going to make donuts, where would you get your ingredients from? And then that's going to be the answer that I answer your question with. Because your answer is going to be the grocery store. And that's where I got my ingredients. See how that works? Now, donuts are there. You can go to a, a specialty donut shop and buy your donuts. But since I'm making my donuts, we went ahead and just... you Actually, I've had these ingredients on hand. I didn't go anywhere to buy these ingredients. They were just in my pantry. That's right. Grocery store. Exactly. That's where I get my ingredients. It's the grocery store. I feel like I want to put different flavored jam in one of these. Let's do, uh, what else do I got? Oh, I got this. Let's do this. Taste of goodness, strawberry rhubarb jam. Oh, yeah. Have you ever had a strawberry rhubarb jam filled donut? Because I have in well, about 30 seconds. 30 seconds from now I have. So that's the thing. If your donuts have a hole, you can't put jelly in them. So, like, never forget that. If anyone ever shit talks your jelly donut stuff in uh, opposite or propositions, like just yeah, I did that on purpose. Just a little bit. You don't have to don't go overboard. Don't be a, don't be crazy with it. Oh, I went overboard. <laughs> I put way too much in there. Oh man, that's looking. Per oh, sorry. Angles. Always forget. And then here's the best part. It's a muffin on the top. See. So what I'm thinking is, let me see if I can make sure this isn't going to fall out. Oh, watch it fall out. So you serve them like this. I, I cut a little piece of parchment and put it underneath there to seal it. And then you serve your muffins and someone's like, oh, muffin, I love the top. But then it's like, oh, you love the top, do you? Do you love the top of your muffin? Well, this one's got jelly on the inside. It's a jelly-filled muffin. How does a donut shop make donuts? Uh, well, they fry them, I think. There used to be a grocery store in my town called Sunshine, and they had a donut making machine. It was the coolest thing because they had it on display. You could watch it, and basically the way it worked, I'll do I'll do a full explanation. It was all automated, so like all the batterers and went in this thing, and they had a. That was the best way to describe it. The batter was in a thing, a box or whatever, and then the plunger would come up, and it would make the it make the dough fall out in a perfect ring into the hot oil, and it'd go. Pssst, It'd be floating, It'd just, and then the oil, like, it, it went down the thing, and then at some point there was a flipper, because that bottom half of the donut would be cooked, and they would flip, they'd flip to the other side, they get all the way in, they call them sunshine donuts, or a cake donut. Well, uh, 
I think a coffee shop in town actually bought that machine, so you can still get those donuts. It's kind of funny because I think the coffee shop, I think it's Jitters. Did Jitters buy that? I think Jitters bought it. And they were like, come get the Jitters donuts. And everyone's was like, what are you talking about? They literally had to be like, the Sunshine Donuts. And everyone's was like, yay, Sunshine Donuts are back. I kind of felt bad for the guy because he, uh, he probably paid a lot for that machine and he didn't want to call them Sunshine Donuts. But like, like sometimes you got to realize you can't rename shit because no one's going to show up. And do like here, uh, like that here in my town or my, where I live for a, an, uh, an assisted living nursing home type of deal. This thing had had this name forever. Everybody knew where it was. Everyone knew what side of town it was. I'm not going to say it. But like the name had like the side of town on it and all that. And like, it was like, it must have been privately owned. I don't know. Anyways, everybody, everybody knew where it was. And then it got bought out or whatever. Somebody bought them and they changed the name. And it was like, where? Where? Nobody knew where this place was. And they literally had to come back and change the name. It was like, like Evil Corp, uh, also known as the thing you know. It was the funniest shit ever because it was like, Whoever made that decision was like, oh, it'd be like, it'd be like someone buying Coca Cola and changing the name to to uh, sweet delicious beverage, and everyone's like, what is sweet delicious beverage? And they're like, oh yeah, come come enjoy sweet delicious beverage uh, by Coca Cola. Oh yeah, Coca Cola. I know that. It's like, why, why would you change the name? That's what you're buying is the name. All right, here we go. Rhubarb strawberry. Nothing but mustache. Hmm. Yeah. It's pretty good. But yeah, traditional donuts are just fried. I prefer, I don't, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of cake donuts. Although I'm going to have like a dozen, a dozen and a half of the damn things. I like a yeast donut, which is like a raised donut, real fluffy. Those are my favorite. And I thought, well, I could make it and like, I could roll the dough out and stick them in here. I guess I could try it. I don't know. The only problem with the yeast donut is it takes a long time. Like, you, that's like a... You have to let it rise and all that. Mmm. Where's that coffee at? There it is. I don't know. Bacon donuts. I mean, I didn't even know that was a thing. There's all sorts of recipes. I was trying to find the most vanilla, straightforward, plain Jane donut recipe I could find. But everything had nutmeg, so I definitely would do less nutmeg. Because the, the nutmeg is pronounced. Like, I can taste the nutmeg in here. I mean, it's not bad. Hold on, beast. Oh, I'll probably make more. Pretty good. I might make, in the future, probably make half as much, though, like a one egg, a half cup, a one and a, well, what's half of a two-thirds? I might make my brain break if I figure out what half of a two-thirds is. But make half as much. Because, like, I, mean, I guess I know I'm eating all week. I'm having donuts all week, so that's to be fun. <laughs> it's just like, oh, a week's, a week's worth of donuts. Yummy. Is there enough to make more? Like, I feel like there's more in here. I could make more donuts. Yeah, let's make more. I mean, if you're here to watch me make donuts, I don't want to disappoint you because that's what's happening. It's a real live stream. If you got to go, I understand. I'm not going to get upset. Let's uh, let's wipe that out. Uh, did I wipe my face with that? Don't care. Uh, let's just do it right here on the counter. Don't even care. Excuse me. Just a little donut donut uh, gas escape. That's uh, gonna be good enough right there. I think. I feel like I should do like a giveaway and give away some pans on my channel because I got so many. Like, how could you use ten? I don't even know why I bought ten. I'll tell you what it was. I found them in a, a stack of them in a bag already. I didn't even I didn't even like start stacking. I found like six in a bag. I was like six donut pans. I'll buy. I'll buy it. I'll buy. It. I'll buy that many. And then I just kept finding more, so I just kept filling the bag full. And then I got home. I found out that like uh, a couple of them were damaged. So, I mean, not damaged so much that you couldn't make donuts in them, but just like just damaged enough. Is that a thing? <laughs> There's a guy I watch on YouTube. I don't know if you've ever seen him. Uh, uh, Andrew Carmara, 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 I think. He's got a really popular channel. He's got over a million people that watch him. He does property maintenance. Uh, very, very, very entertaining to watch. He's got an attitude. 
towards life, which is just like nothing I've ever seen before. So to sum it up, like <laughs> he bought like a used truck that was just totally beat up. And he, he was like, oh, that truck, it's got just enough dents in it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> he doesn't like it with no dents because you're going to put a dent in it and you're going to be upset. So he likes to buy it with dents in it. And then that's just the perfect amount of dents. And like, Dude, it made me laugh so hard. The perfect amount of dents. And I'm like, oh, how about that? I almost baked the plastic in there from that. When I cut that tip, how great would that have been? That would have been like, a, oh, I just filled my trash can. That was what I was trying to avoid. Uh, don't judge me. Don't judge me. All right, let's see what happens when you use a spoon. Well, this is going to be a disaster. Oh, I'm concentrating more than you can even realize. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to say I did that perfectly, but like, I don't know if it gets much better than that when it comes to spoon ladling your donut dough in. All these donuts are done right now. Impeccable timing. Oh, it's so much concentration. I gotta pull my donuts out. Stop filling the donut. Okay. We gotta move some stuff here. We gotta consolidate the donuts into a pile. We gotta find our hot pad. We gotta turn the off. Got to move the coffee to there. Got to move the camera so we can see what we're doing. Waka, waka, waka. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Watch out, doggy. I don't want to burn your little face off. Okay. Can I get one more donuts out of all this? I got donut in there. I feel like doing some, uh, so on the job site, when I'm doing construction, if you uh, run into a piece of wood that has a knot in it and it makes you mad and you mention it, it turns into an endless like 15 minutes of like uh, uh, play on the word not jokes. So it's like, uh, that was not a beard hair, was it? <laughs> Just like that. I think there's a hair. I saw a hair, but it's my hair, so it'd be fun. It's like boss man, like, oh, I hit a knot, he'll get mad. I was like, do not mention that again. Then it'll turn like a donut joke. Like, I, do, I do not think that's funny. And like, oh, it just never ends. It's just never ending like uh, not jokes. So I feel like we should be saying uh, dough not jokes right now. Like, don't, don't not spill that dough. Don't not forget to mention it in the uh, comments below. All right, so I just made a decision. What I should have done is I should have just added more to the other donut slots. That's what I should have done in hindsight. Because I feel like there's not going to be enough. I do not think I have enough dough. Is that, is that how I'm supposed to play this game? I do not think this is going to work. Let's get really, 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 really scrapey here. Oh, that's actually perfect. I do not know why I thought I was going to run out of dough. <laughs> oh, man. That one's got too much. And that one doesn't have enough. Yeah, just use your finger, dude. You the food police are going to come to your house and arrest you? Well, they might. Man, that nutmeg. I'll tell you what. So the one that I thought I wasn't going to have enough got too much, is what it's basically looking like. All right, let's turn it back on. We'll bake these last ones here. We're just going full sloppy mode. Timer for toe shifter, because he gets worried about my, my, my timer. 10 minutes. Checky check. Oh, I just filmed my back there for like 30 seconds. Sorry. Pop these donuts out. I mean, I don't know what the seven minutes in the pan's all about. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, I forgot to oil that pan. Well, that's the way the donuts get cooked. These are actually looking like pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. I may have been a little, a little exuberant on my initial uh, donut pan filling, but like, I mean, 
for a non-fried donut, that's looking pretty donut-y. You know what I mean? Like, like, nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Just nyuk, nyuk, nyuk. Just poke its little extra out there. That's legit, dude. That's a legit donut. I mean, it makes donuts. If you're like, I can't eat fried donuts because I have to have 3,000 donuts. I get it. If you got to have 3,000 donuts, you shouldn't be eating fried donuts. So you can bake them. They're better for you, but like... I mean, I don't know what kind of advice I would give. Weight helps me release. Okay, gotcha. Um, I guess I'd go with. Uh, that's fun. This is fun. I'm having fun right now. I'm gonna move my tablet away so I can see what I'm doing. I just. I like a book. I like a cookbook. I don't like a cook tablet. A cook tablet, like you have to scroll. You know what I mean? Like, I've never, I've never found an internet recipe on a tablet where it's all on one page, where it's like, here's the ingredients, here's the cooking, it's, it's, uh, here's the ingredients brought to you by, uh, some evil shitty corporation, because there's an ad brander there, and then there's a, 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 a ad over here, you know, and then there's an ad across that, and then maybe one diagonal, and you gotta scroll, you know, it's like, <laughs> Jesus. I mean, maybe if I paid for a service, they would omit all the ads and put it on one page. But, like, I was like, today I had to keep scrolling. Like, I had to scroll up and scroll down, scroll up and scroll down. I was like, I hate that, dude. I mean, yeah, I like the future. Yay, the future. Look how great the future is. You know what I also like? I like it simple. Like, I still use a paper calendar, dude, because you know why? Because I hate flicking through a digital stupid calendar. I just like to look at the... Like, I like to look at it and see it all. Like, what's the month? I don't... Oh, one day, here's an hour. Like, oh, dude. Come on now. Like, some things don't need improved. You know what I mean? Well, I feel like we're getting to the end here. Made a lot of donuts. I think in the future I would do, like, a glaze or something on them. They definitely need a glaze, but, I mean... They make, the, they make the coffee taste correct, so that, I mean, they do their job. That's the main thing with the, with the donut. The dog is just sitting here. Look at the dog. She's just like, are we doing more donuts? Like, can I have more donuts? I would like more donuts, please. So whatever. I think I'm probably going to end it. I mean, there's just going to be more of what you've already seen. So let's see here. Get this reversed. Hey! You're looking at my cabinets! What are you doing that for? Those are my cabinets. Sneak it in my cabinets. All right. Comb the, comb the donut crumbs out. All right. My beard's crooked. I slept crooked on my beard last night. Look at that. It happens. All right. So donut pans. Check. I guess if you know me in real life and you need a donut pan, I still have eight more of these. Uh, one slightly damaged and one with a little dent on the top. Two slightly damaged. One little dent. One dent on the side, but would not affect the donut cooking operation. I'll probably keep four for myself. Two to use and two backups in case I wear these ones out, right? So, all right. Elf shelves, cooking with elf shelves. Sunday uh, live stream, donut extravaganza. I might change the title of that. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, it's coming to a close. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the comments. That's fun. Uh, if you made it this far, don't forget I stream on Twitch now, and I need followers. I only have eight. I need 50. So go over there. Follow. And then I get fat checks. Yeah, not really, but potentially. Sorry. So anyways, yeah, that's the end of this one. Those donuts are almost done. Five minutes, but I'm not going to stream for five more minutes. That's just way too long. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.